So we're back into the workshop, Joe. I had a little parcel delivered me from an online auction seller. Okay, cool. And uh, that's for you. Oh, thank you very much. Sure, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Already been opened, I noticed. Okay, well, well, I checked it was we'll, the right thing. <laughs> we'll we're gloss over for, that. For personal use. We'll gloss over that. Okay, so, um, right, so we've got here a light fitting adapter. Now, this to me looks like it's going to take a bayonet cap fitting. It is. And adapt it to an Edison screw fitting. It is. It's going to allow us to convert between being the bayonet cap connection in, say, a ceiling rose and pendant, allowing us to insert the polarity conscious Edison screw jug. Now, we're not experts on manufacturing regulations, uh, but we do know a little bit about the electrical regulations, and I confess here a little bit of a problem with this. So I think we need to bring the camera in and we'll set this up and see what that issue may be. Okay, Joe, so we've brought the camera in and we've got our bayonet cap and Edison screw lamps. Can you just talk us through about the, the polarity and the connections of those types of ends, please? Yeah, so first of all, let's talk about the bayonet cap uh, type fitting. So when we plug these in, when we connect these up at home, uh, we never ever stop and think, I must put this in the right way round, do we? All we do is we plug that in and we give it a twist and it lights up. It doesn't matter if I rotate that through 180 degrees, so now the pins on the bottom of the lamp are connecting onto the opposite pins as they were before, the lamp still operates exactly the same way. And that's absolutely fine, that's, that's quite a good advantage of a bayonet cap type fitting. When we look at an Edison screw type fitting, what we've got here is a slightly different arrangement. We've got one pin here that connects onto the terminal inside the uh, lamp holder. And then we've got here, this is actually the second contact. So whereas on the bayonet cap, you've got one contact and another that connects and makes the lamp turn on. Here we've got one connection and another that connects and makes the lamp turn on. Now, the issue with this is that in BS7671, it makes it very clear that polarity testing must be carried out to make sure that when you've installed your lamp holder, this pin is the line conductor and this screw connection is the neutral. Why is it that way around, guys? Okay, so BS7671 requires us to prove polarity of all Edison screw lamp holders, as Joe just said, being line and neutral, because when we insert it into here like so and start screwing it down, we can actually touch the screwed element. If that screwed element here was actually connected, Joe, to the line conductor, as the customer goes to screw it in, they can certainly touch the screwed part, mm -hmm. connected to line, obviously a massive risk of electric shock. Yeah. So it's vitally important that we get the line conductor here and the neutral conductor here and we prove it yep. during our testing process. Yep. Unlike bandit cap, doesn't matter which one of these is line and which one's neutral because we know and our studies have shown that these have no polarity. So let's see how it's gonna work with this adapter. So with the adapter, you can see what we're doing is we're taking a bayonet cut type fitting. So you can see there we've got two pins, two terminals. Yep that we don't think about which way round we plug that in. Okay. We don't think about that at all. Now when we start to screw the Edison screw in, okay. Okay, what could potentially happen, and I'm gonna be very careful here because I'm actually <laughs> quite, quite worried, because it's entirely possible, I've not thought about which way I've turned that round. And again, the average person who's ordered one of these and bought one of these won't think about which way they're putting it into their bayonet cup type fitting. So that means that potentially that inner thread now that could be the line conductor and not the neutral. So that means that if I was to start screwing this in, and I'm not going to because it's very, very risky, I could actually get a lethal shock uh, between line and earth. A 50% chance of having this the wrong way round. Yeah. And as we go to insert that and we drop it down, so if we do it under control conditions, hold the glass, you're okay with that? Yep. So as I drop that onto there now, yep. that well could be connected yep. to the line conductor just yeah. here. That could be connected to the line conductor. Let's do it again. Absolutely. We don't know, do we? No. Shall we have a look? We genuinely don't know which way around we've plugged this in. It okay. could be that we've got this right. It could be we've got it wrong. What we'll do is we'll just do a quick test. So we'll use our uh, voltage tester here. Uh, I've got a, a connection off screen. So we'll just make sure that our tester is working so we're getting yep we're getting full uh, reading there so what we're going to do is I've got a, an earth connection just off the screen here and what we'll do is we'll test between that earth connection which is just over here we're going to test here, we're going to so test to the inner ring very very carefully genuine we've not <laughs> set that up <laughs> is it yeah it's we've, right. we've just accidentally connected that up the wrong way round so let's just drop that on, as the customer might have done, how much of that cap is again, now exposed. If your hand slips down, 
all of a sudden you're contacting a life part. That is not safe. Incredibly unsafe. So yeah. be very careful. We're just going to take that out of the way. Okay, so we're going to now change it round just to prove the point. Yep. So, so if we swap that over. Turn it just 180 degrees. So again, we, we don't know which way round that is. We're not sure. If we now connect between Earth and this outer, there so we we've got nothing. Zero we've got volts. absolutely zero volts. But if we connect onto the center pin, you can see there we've got the line connection. So again, if I was doing it this time, the customer was super lucky and they started screwing it in and tested there. No shot because they're only connecting with a, a, a less dangerous neutral, not 50 a safe neutral. 50% chance of no, yeah. in the worst case scenario, yeah. killing yourself. Now again, as we say, we're not experts in manufacturing regulations. We're not. It's entirely possible that this has been you know, perfectly safely manufactured. But from an electrician's point of view, to my mind, that is a very, very dangerous piece of kit. And we'd urge you to be very, very cautious uh, about using those. I think with postage, it was under four pounds. Yeah, I'd, oh. I'd, I would never ever use and install one of those personally. So Joe, we bark on about polarity in light fittings very yep. early on in our studies yeah, at level yep. one, level two, and level three, whenever you enter yep. the program. And for less than four pounds, I can go onto an auction site and buy something that absolutely tears the rule book up yep. and therefore has a massive risk of electric shock. Yep. Good idea? And not a good idea. I, I, I wouldn't buy them personally. No, not. Again, just our personal opinions, but that seems like a very dangerous bit of kit. Like we said, I'm reiterating that we're not product manufacturers that yep. may have passed every standard known yep. to man yep. and yep. acceptable. All we're trying to highlight is the fact that you've got a 50% chance yep. of installing an Edison screw with an incorrect polarity. Yep. So, Joe? Should we do it? Yep. We hope this, this video has been, been some help.